just a quick one for today. Quite often I get machines in where the customer will say, the, my machine's jammed, it won't go, it just, nothing works. This is a very, very common issue. The first thing I look at when I get a machine in like that is, is the bobbin winder engaged? And this particular machine, it was. What that does is it locks the hand wheel. So I can't turn the hand wheel there. So you, you could quite easily think that the machine's jammed up or seized or something like that. Now, a jammed or a seized machine is not always caused by a bobbin winder, but in this particular instance, it is. If I disengage the bobbin winder there, I can turn the machine and the needle is going up and down there. Everything's working fine. Now not all machines work like this with the bobbin winder disengaging the mechanism there, but a lot of them do. And so as soon as I engage that there, it turns for a little bit and then it jam well appears to jam up it's by design so it's just so that when the bobbin wind is engaged it disengages the uh, whole machine virtually except for you know obviously the motor and there's a pulley inside here i'll take the panels off and show you that so you can see the how the mechanism works but uh yeah quite often easy fix is just flip that back like that okay we can have a little look at how this all works here uh, this is looking from behind here when the machine's in the normal sewing mode you know you, the bobbin winders in its disengaged position here and that allows the machine to turn freely you might be able to see just over here if you look in here you'll see the shaft turning there so the needles going up and down everything's working as it should there and when the bobbin winder is engaged you bring across this bobbin winder here to engage it here and what that does is it releases this little lever here and this lever here comes right down i'll get you a better view of this in a second and latches in onto a a collar down here it's got little protrusions on it and that stops the hand wheel from turning so you'll see that you know, it won't go any further, it just sort of jams. You know, that's by design, it's especially designed to do that. And the reason is, is because, so w when you put your foot down, it, uh, you know, provides power to the motor and the motor turns this here. And that is separated from the main shaft now because of this linkage here that's disengaged it. And that, you can see the bulb and winder turning there. So I'm actually, I'm not turning the hand wheel, I'm turning the actual motor belt here. And when you're back into sewing mode, you finish winding your bobbin, you click that back and you'll see that the whole thing will be turning. You can see it down in here again, the whole lot's turning, including the hand wheel here. So that's a little clutch there that disengages when the bobbin winder's uh, enabled there, just like that. Yeah. Right, yo, I've taken the hand wheel off here just so that you can see what's going on with the bottom of this. You can see it's got a little protrusion there. And we're in sewing mode at the moment. You know, so if I do spin the that's the motor belt there. Spin that, you can see the whole lot turning. Engage the bulb winder. Engages this little lever here. And you'll see it stops the main shaft from turning and now it's just spinning this here which the bobbin winder is attached to and having a look from the front here now this is the bobbin winder rubber here that pushes up against the this wheel here this and you'll see now that when i turn the motor belt that the bobbin winder is spinning there disengage and the whole machine is turning hand wheel and the shaft main shaft there so that's it pretty much for this one i just say it was a it's a quick one and uh, i'd like to say thank you to my patrons uh, for supporting the channel on patreon and thank you very much for watching